good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech and I am back with another 3D printing project so let's get cracking friends we are back with the Sobel SV06 today we're gonna switch materials I'm also gonna make the design that we're gonna 3D print this is Tinkercad we're gonna hit plus and choose new 3D design it's going to be a simple project. I'm just going to show you something with this heart. Notice I have brought it in and I'm going to immediately export it as an SVG for laser cutting. I will keep it in my downloads. I will hit save. I'm going to click on it and hit delete. And then we're going to choose import and we're going to bring that heart back in though as an SVG. Now I only want the art. I'm going to keep the scale and I'm going to tell it import friends at first the difference is not noticeable but if you come over here you have got choices in the shape mode right now it's a fill of default watch this if we choose outer line bingo you've all of a sudden got something you could use as an earring or maybe a laser cutting project now I'm gonna change this to round corners I'm also gonna take the quality and I'm gonna bump it all the way up I'm gonna make this into a tiny little earring. So I'm going to hold down shift and I'm gonna shrink it. So there it is about 20 centimeter. Currently it is quite large. You can see it's 20 millimeters plus. I'm gonna change the line width before I scale it. This way the line width actually fits. So right now it's gonna go down to two and then I'm gonna hold down shift and squeeze this in just a bit. 14 millimeters is pretty cool I think. And then we need to add the piece where it's going to connect. I'm going to do that with a tube. Once again, before I scale this, I'm going to change the measurements. So I'm going to make that radius 4. I'm going to make the wall thickness 1. I do want the sides to be round. When I bring that in, it looks pretty cool, but I'm going to change this radius instead to 2.5 and see if I like that better. Let's shrink it down so that way it matches and then I can nudge it over I'm going to change these heights so they match there's my two and my two I think that's going to make a pretty neat earring let's select the two of them do control G to group if you wanted to change your sizes you can hold down shift and it'll still maintain its measurements I think that's pretty nifty Real quickly, I'm going to change the name up here to Heart Earring. So that way I can track it down at a later date. And friends, let's export it so we can send it to the printer. Notice this time we're doing the STL. I'm going to store it in my 3D modeling folder. And let's get the printer ready for printing with PETG. Friends, let's start with the filament. We have got PETG from Duramike. 240 degrees plus or minus is the filament temperature and they recommend and they recommend a speed of 30 to 70 millimeters and a and a bed temp of 70 to 80 celsius with that figured out let's get the filament loaded of course we will start by moving down to change filament and yes we do want to change filament i'm going to preheat custom because this is warmer and I want to go all the way up to 240 because that's how warm it will be when the new stuff goes in. In real life this took two minutes but I sped it up with video editing skills. That's how easy it is to get the filament out. And of course, I'm going to clip my filament really quickly. And then, of course, we can move over here and insert it. Notice you can use that lever to get it in a little bit further. And now we will press the button to reheat the nozzle. Filament inserted. Change our angle so we can watch for some filament purge. It asks if I want to purge a little bit more. I'm going to hit yeah. And there it is. Purging white. 
just like we'd expect. This time, I'll roll down and hit continue. Now friends, we need to launch Kira. I'm using 5.3. I have got the solo ready. I'm going to grab that file. Once again, it's in my 3D modeling. I'll shut off my prior search. There is my heart earring. I am gonna print it at low quality with the 0 0.8, 1.12, 10% infill. Now this is where I need to change it. Let's switch that material. I'm going to click up here and instead of PLA, I'm gonna do generic, but I want PET G. Still a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and notice it went to 215 and 70. I am just going to go over here and I'm going to overwrite it to the 240 that was on the label. Once again, I'm going to double check. I have got my retraction, my speed of 60, and then I have switched to no adhesion. I'm going to quickly insert my SD card. And we are going to save to the removable disc just like that. It will be called SS Heart. I'm gonna hit eject and let's take it to the 3D printer. All right, friends, I'm gonna insert that SD card. Notice it says media inserted, print from media. There is my heart earring, switch to print, and let's try our luck with PETG. Now we are waiting a moment for the bed to heat up one nice thing about having done the filament was it stayed at 241 so that part was already ready for when the print gets there alrighty so I'm gonna run this at 5x speed it only takes about 45 seconds to make this tiny heart I did make it extremely small and that makes the process uber quick and let's check out what we made will it pop off nice and easy Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a super quick test of PET-G on the Soval SB06. That turned out absolutely awesome. I'm going to scale it up and print another one, but oh my gosh, that was fun. Alright, so I have returned to Kira reinserting the SD card. I am going to delete that ring. Uh, it was awesome, but it's pretty darn tiny, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Let's go back to our project. Notice if you wanted two copies, you'd have to change the name to like V2 out here. I don't have to do that because I deleted the original, but I'm going to make this adjustment. I'm going to move to scale, and then I want to make sure that this height is 2. And notice that stretches it out to about 16 in both directions. I'm going to try that instead of what we did the first time, just because of how small the other one was. Now, when you do make one of these moves, always check your height. Notice this went below zero, so I'm gonna change it to zero. Now it is sitting exactly at zero, so I can save it to the removable disk and print it again. Safely eject, and let's take it to the printer. All right, so you can see I hit preheat, and I selected ABS, so that way it'll heat up faster this time. Let's insert that SD card. There you can see media inserted. And let's go down to print from media. And there's heart earring version two. Let's hit print and see how this one turns out. Alrighty friends, there you have it. Same tiny heart, much less stringing. Oh my gosh, loving the Sobol SV06.
All right, everybody, so there you have it, a super fast project where we actually get to print with PETG using the Sobol SV06. Filament change was a piece of cake. Of course, it handled printing PETG just like you'd expect, and I showed you how to make a real fun Tinkercad project where we simply take a shape, export it, import it, and bam, you can make your own fun 3D designs in just a matter of minutes. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.